All right, guys, so back in September 2022, I shared a video with you guys talking about a 2 million power team that actually worked during the arena. And it did revolve around the older cookies uh, with the release of Espresso Cookies, Magic Candy, and things like that. Uh, but now, okay, if you guys look at the power level of the standard team with the level cap increase all the way up to 75 rather than the 70 that we had, the standard team that we are using, of course, um, you know, a lot of my ascensions has increased a lot as well, but you can see that the average is around 2 million. So I thought, hey, why not try making a 3 million power team and see how it works in the arena right now while, you know, the arena just reset. So I went and did that, guys, and here we go, guys. This is literally the team I went with. Found the cookies with the highest attack inside of my cookie list, and this is pretty much what I came up with. 3.3 million power and this could even be higher if i did switch out the toppings for starters with the juicy apple jelly but you know just so that i can get a little bit of faster on the cooldown and uh, start to skill off a little bit i went with the five of the swift chocolate and the rest of them are going with five of the syrian raspberry and there you guys go 3.3 million if that doesn't even work out then i might just switch out you know uh our moonlight with a swift chocolate and still will be a 3.2 but Wanted to see how this works out. I have no idea how they will do inside of the arena against standard teams right now either. But uh, we are going with the rare scroll just to increase the uh, defense a little bit. We got the whistle here, guys, with the uh, extra 20% damage resist to two of our highest attacking cookie. And I believe that is actually going to be someone like uh, maybe Espresso with Squid Ink, I think. Yeah, I think it's Espresso with Squid Ink here. And then uh, we got uh, our Jelly Watch here. So let's go into the arena right now with the reset and see how well a 3 million power team is actually going to do without any tank or any healer all right guys we're going to start with a little bit of an easier victim here with a milky way as well as we see captain caviar moonlight black pearl and a pure vanilla and you can see that their uh you know treasures are not maxed out uh so here we go let's just see how well we do and here we go guys we're going to start out with uh stardust and then moon oh, actually not moonlight uh we're going to go into captain caviar so I guess I'll just switch out um, Moonlight skill to a uh, full Saiyan Raspberry, but man, they just blew up. They just absolutely just got deleted here. Uh, they didn't even get to do anything. Pretty good. All right, guys, the second victim. Uh, they do also have a single tank with Captain Caviar and Moonlight. Their treasures are a little bit higher than before, uh, that one that we burst, but here we go. And this time around, we are going with the full Saiyan Raspberry for Moonlight here, and let's just see how... Well, we do. Um, our Squid Ink did survive there. And boom. Uh, it got pretty close. It got pretty close. But um, Squid Ink and Moonlight were able to finish it off right there. And Moonlight doing the most damage. They did have Espresso. All right. So that's that was the a little bit of the uh, stun and the sleep from both of these guys right there. But still, okay. Maybe uh, we'll have a little bit of problem when we go up against standard teams. All right, guys, a little bit increase in the difficulty here. Uh, we are going up against a double tank here with Fit and Steer, as well as a missing in the middle. Seems like it's going to be like a Sherbet here. And then we got uh, probably a double healer as well. So here we go. Let's see how well we do. And here we go. We are going to be actually it's a Moonlight here. Okay. So uh, we did get to use skills here, kind of uh, dodging some of the uh, abilities, but... Uh, we are taking some damage here. Hopefully, Captain Caviar could use skill one more time. Nope. Uh, not going to happen. And it seems like against a pretty well-built team here, a double tank, double healer, one single DPS with Moonlight, our 3 million power team is not going to work out too well. All right. So although they did damage, uh, you know, the uh, feather as well as the double healers, uh, just too hard to go through. All right, guys. So we're stepping up a notch here. And we're actually going to add a healer as well as a tank. Very offensive ones here with the addition of Darker Cow as well as Cream Puff. And they are using a full Saiyan Raspberry as well as full Juicy Apple Jelly. And let's see how well a team like this one might possibly work out against the arena. All right, guys. So here we go. Another little standard team here with a double tank as well as a double DPS with single healer. Uh, of course, their treasures are not maxed out. But let's see how well we do against this one. And here we go. So uh, you can see that the cooldown is a little slow on our Darker Cow, but uh, hopefully our Cream Puff will be able to heal all of our guys up. Wow! Just insta-heal right there with uh, Cream Puff. And now we have... Uh, whoa! Okay, I thought we will uh, be able to win, but I think we are going to actually still lose. Oh, wow. 
I did not expect that, actually. I thought we will actually be able to do something. But, uh, yeah, definitely did not work out the way I intended it to. All right, guys. So this time around against another double tank, double DPS. But they do have a Sherbet and a Black Pearl. So let's see how well we do against this one. It might actually be a good idea maybe to switch out either the Whistle or the, uh, the Scroll for a Feather. Just in case uh, our DPSs do die. I can just bring them back and have them use their ability one more time. But, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if our Espresso and Moonlight will be able to use skill one more time. Which, uh, they kind of did. Cream Puff is able to heal one more time. That's good, Sid. Uh, it seems like, uh, their Sherbet is gone. Alright, and here we go, Moonlight. Uh, should be able to dodge the, uh, Black Pro hit right there. And, uh, there we go. I think this one is our victory. Still got pretty close, though. Uh, our Squid Ink and Espresso did die. Uh, their damage is, is a little bit lower uh, than definitely all of the other ones, uh, especially with Cream Puff having the ability to gain some extra damage resist. But there we go. Ooh, wow. 8 million healing coming out from our Cream Puff. And total damage, not bad at all. Alright, guys, let's do one last battle here. And it is going to be against a really, really, really standard team here now. And that is going to be with the double tank, double DPS, as well as a pure vanilla here. Uh, and you do see a whistle as well as a feather. So that's going to be very standard. Let's go. I honestly have no uh, faith in my team. But uh, it will be really, really surprising if we can actually uh, beat this one. And here we go, Dark Cow kind of following it up a little bit late, uh, but Stardust did die uh, right there. And seems like our entire team is going to get white with that Feather Revive and the extra sleep uh, and the Moonlight skill. So definitely the uh, Swift Chocolate, it's a lot better uh, in some cases, all right, in majority of the cases, I'll have to say. But there you guys go, a little bit of damage right there coming out from our team, but Pure Vanilla heals it right back up as well as you got the tanks as well. So yeah. A clean defeat. So there you guys go. A 3 million power team. Yes, it does work here and there sometimes against a, you know, a very lacking team. But against a very sturdy, stable, and uh, well-built team that follows the meta. Follows the, uh, you know, the kind of, uh, you know, like, quote-unquote rule of team building for the arena. Uh, you'll still lose, okay? A little purpose of these kind of videos for me uh, sometimes uh, is to show you guys uh, that power is not everything, all right? Even if I have 1.7 million power, I would still be able to beat a 3 million power. Of course, uh, there are going to be specialized teams that actually do one shot with like this one right here that I've shared with you guys before. Uh, they have 2.6 million. Of course, uh, against these kind of comps, you need to go with certain comps like, you know, you either have Werewolf as well as either Herb or something like that in order to counter it. Uh, but when you guys just go straight up into just focusing on the attack power, it is not everything. And it is the same thing for world exploration as well. So I just hope you guys remember that. And I just hope you guys know that the toppings uh, do have a very, very, very big impact on the amount of attack power uh, that your cookies are going to have. I do have videos on it as well, but the attack powers heavily revolve around the amount of crit percentage as well as the attack percentage that your cookies have. So if you guys do uh, equip Juicy Apple Jelly Topping or something like Serum Raspberry, then naturally your cookies are going to have a higher attack power. However, that's not going to be everything, guys. You know that for majority of the cases, the best topping set for Moonlight is going to be something like 5 of the Swift Chocolate. Uh, you know that Hollerberry is using 5 of the Swift Chocolate as well as 5 of the Solid Almond. Uh, you know, Werewolf is using 5 of the Solid Almond majority of the time with the uh, tank ability and, you know, things like that. So just keep that in mind, guys. It is important to know that, especially if you guys are still thinking about higher power equals better team. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.